designers and ceramic masters. And we're joined this morning by the owner of the studio, Laura Davis. Oh, Laura, you're hard at work. What are you doing today? Uh, today I am making bowls and vases for a kiln opening we have next week. Really? Okay, so tell me about so your new are, space because yep. you've, you've, got a, you've got a new expanded facility there, right? Yes, we moved from Walnut Hills where we were for 15 years. We've moved over to the Norwood area um, in this amazing, wonderful building that used to be a Hud's, no, uh, Packard dealership for 40 years and then turned into something, a church, I think, for the last couple of years. So it's been an interesting transition. It's a crazy building. Well, so you've got, you, you had your wheel spinning there. How long does it take you to make the vase that you're, that you're working on today? Um, vases can take, depending on how complicated a form, uh, they can take anywhere from about two minutes to 20 minutes um, to throw. And then the next steps after that, I trim them, which I have to wait about a day to do. Um, and then I will do a lot of patterning on the outside um, to make them more interesting. I like to do a carved form and then I have to glaze it. So the glazing step comes after bisque, which is another two day process. Um, I glaze it, I'll dip it in a color, and then I spray it in about five different layers of glaze. Oh, wow, that's so, neat. Well, go ahead that, and work on yeah. that base if you want to. Kind of show us what, okay. you, what you do with it. All right. So. Wow. I just drill that hole and... And you do that all with your hands, not with tools? Yeah. Um, I do use some tools later on. Okay. But mostly it's all by hand. It's not left-handed or right-handed. It is one of the few ambidextrous things. That is beautiful, just to watch the progression do. of that. Now, how did you learn about pottery, Laura? How did you learn to do that? Um, my best friend watched the movie Ghost and <laughs> signed us up for a class, which is my shameful uh, beginning story, but um, <laughs> Ghost was the, I think, the gateway drug for about 50% of potters who started in the late 90s to the early 2000s. Right. And now everybody's watching um, the Great Pottery Throwdown. So. Uh, we have well, a whole new, a yeah, whole new reference point. That's good for business. So, if if I'm just a beginner yeah, and I come in for a class, what would I learn? So you won't learn to make anything this tall. Um, <laughs> you'll learn to make small bowls, little plates, um, small cups. It takes about two nights a week to um, to practice enough to get good at it. Um, I would say. Two, two hours for your class and then another two hours of practice because uh, it's kind of like weightlifting where if you if you only do it one day a week you're not going to get any better at it uh, a lot of it is muscle memory so oh. um, you have to practice to get better at it yeah, yeah. now I, I'm um, looking at some video of some really cute kids there you have some some things for kids to do this summer <laughs> We do have some kids' classes starting later in the summer, and they should be going live on our website to sign up for by the end of this week. So um, coreclay.com is the website, and we have kids' classes, uh, and we do have adult classes. So, And you have date um, night? And we do have a date night for people who don't have, yeah, if you don't have time to, uh, to take a whole six-week class, we have a date night that you can sign up for. Okay. Well, so, those are on Friday nights. Yep. And, and what do you do at date night? On date night, um, you make little hockey pucks mostly, but you know they're really cute hockey pucks. Um, date night, we have a instructor with no more than three couples, and um, you make little pieces, usually about this big. We center them for you because centering is the hardest stage, and then um, we get you going from there. Uh, Sam and Mia, I think, are teaching the wheel class, and we also do hand building if you want something that's a little more um, usable the first the first one class okay. we do well so. the vase oh, the we vase boot th camp too boot camp too okay well the vase that you worked yeah, on there yeah. looks gorgeous again it's coreclay.com if you want to go you. see laura and friends and sign up for a class right. we'll put it at local12.com too that was fun laura thank you great thank you so much <laughs> all right bye, -bye. We'll, we'll be right back
Developing this morning, we want to give you one more update on this situation we've been following since early this morning. At least one person is dead after that building in Surfside, Florida, partially collapsed. This is near Miami, and as you can see, a large portion of that building gave way around 2 this morning. Now rescue crews combing through the rubble face the oncoming thunderstorm in that area. It's raining now. You did see them pull uh, one little boy out of the rubble alive earlier today. Nobody knows what caused the 40-year-old building to collapse. It's going to be days before they can even determine if they've gotten all of the uh, survivors and bodies out. The non-collapse portion of the building, they were able to get those survivors out. New this morning, a local man is dead after a house fire. Butler County firefighters responded to a home on Millville Oxford Road in Hanover Township around 9 last night, and a woman was outside. She told firefighters a man was still in the house. The fire kept them from entering right away, but when they finally did get in, they found his body. Investigators are still working to determine what caused that fire. Happening today, Cincinnati for Justice is partnering with Burnett Woods to spread a message of love. They'll host the first of three events today that feature the work of local LGBTQ plus and BIPOC artists in celebration of Pride Month. BIPOC is black, indigenous, and people of color. Uh, the event will be held at Burnett Woods Bandstand and runs from 7 till 9 tonight. There's a new place to show your love for Cincinnati and travel. Cincinnati Northern Kentucky International Airport has a new online store. Shop CBG has apparel, travel mugs, unique artwork. You can get a discount through next Monday by using the code CBG15. I went on there and the t-shirts are pretty cool. Yeah. Right, and they got yeah. like face masks and things like that. Yeah, tags luggage, like tags. luggage tags. Yeah. yeah, you can get a poster of CBG. Yeah. They sent a shirt too, but I gave it to Tanner. <laughs> <laughs> Our producer well, Tanner well, doesn't get enough love, so I gave the shirt to well, Tanner. Good, Thank just, you, he Mindy. Was mean to Tanner. <laughs> yeah, mean to Tanner. Tanner's right. a nice person. Well, he, he now really, he has he a new really, shirt really to make up for it. Yeah. And, and I, as always, confuse your out-of-town relatives by telling them when they fly in to the Cincinnati area. Yeah, they're in Kentucky. You're in Kentucky. We love it. Yeah, it just blows minds every time. <laughs> <laughs> Have a great day, everybody. Bye bye.